channel. My name is Palina. I hope you all are doing all well. It's December, the holiday season. Yesterday I did a holiday makeup look with a red lipstick and I really loved it. It's right here. Or there, or maybe there. I don't know where's more space. I love the look very much and I want to recreate it today using some of my favorite products. I hope you guys will like this video and I will voice over it. So let's get started. I'm going to pin my hair up. I don't want my BMs anymore. I want them to grow long so that I have long hair at the end of the month. It looks kind of stupid and kind of obvious, but it'll be fun and my hair to grow. First, I will take my MAC Fix Plus and spread it all over my face to prep my skin. Next, I will take my toothbrush foundation brush, and if you really like it, I'm going to take one pump of foundation and brush it lightly on my skin to even out my skin tone. The brush is okay, it doesn't soak in products like a wet sponge would do, but I feel like the brush is leaving some brush streaks on my skin, it's not blended very well, so I will take a wet sponge and blend in the rest into my skin. I have natural dark circles under my eyes, so I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, dot it under my eyes, and my nose will have some blemishes. I will take my Innisfree No Seabrew Mineral Powder, it's an oil control setting powder. I will put it under my eyes and on my forehead. The eyebrows is one of the most important steps in many people's makeup routine. Eyebrows really defines your eyes, brings shape to your face and makes you look more awake. My mom fills in her eyebrows every single day, even if she's not going out, even if she's not wearing any makeup. So I like to do my eyebrows too. I'm just using my Innisfree brow pencil to naturally fill in my eyebrows, bring a touch of dark brown color, and brush it out with a spoolie to make it looking more natural. For my eye look today, I will take my ColourPop, it's a princess in palette, it's a ColourPop eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Disney. I'm pointing out all the shades I will use, and the first one I will take is a skin tone color. I will take a fluffy brush, put it on both of my eyelids as a base. I used to do that a lot when I was starting with makeup, using a skin tone eyeshadow as a base. Next, I will use my favorite shade from the entire palette, Abu. It's a matte burnt orange warm tone eyeshadow. I'm going to put it all over my crease and on my outer corners. All the shade names in this palette is inspired by Disney movies. And I mentioned it in the first video using this palette. I don't know who Abu was. After watching the Aladdin movie, I know. Abu is a monkey from Aladdin. Taking the same shade and put it on the outer part of my lower lash line. The next shade I will take is called Beast. It's a dark brown matte color with some golden sparkles in it. You can almost not see the golden sparkles when you use it. I will put it on the outer corner of my eyes to deepen it up. For the shimmers, I will take these two colors here. First, I will take the golden color and pat it onto the center of my eyelids using my fingers. Then, I will use a lighter champagne color in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm 
using a clean fluffy brush to soften the edges of my eye makeup. Adding a little shimmer onto the inner corner of my lower lash line. Next step is curling my eyelashes. This step is very important if you have straight lashes like me, and that piece of hair looks annoying but got away later. Now it's time for mascara. This is a Hyper Curl Mascara from Maybelline. It's my newest one, and it's also from the Christmas collection, so it have a limited edition golden packaging. I like the mascara very much, I like the packaging and the formula. It really holds my curl really long, and the only thing is that this mascara doesn't feel so black like others. But it's waterproof, so it's really good for curling. The mascara really opened up my eyes. Now it's time for eyeliner. I will use the Kiss Me Heroin Make Eyeliner in black. And I'm being really carefully and taken really slowly because I have really small eyes and any small mistake could ruin the whole look. I'm drawing a very slim small line along my lash line and drawing it until the end of my eyelid and then wing it out. How the eye look turned out. Now I'm going to use my Can Make Marshmallow Powder. I will put some on my forehead and some powder under my eyes. And I'm getting into that outer corner by my upper and lower lash line. I tend to get oily there and the eyeliner and mascara likes to smudge there. But on that day it didn't smudge. To add some warmth to my face, I'm using my favorite bronzer. It's a Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I will brush it onto my face either in circular motion or upward motion. I never drag it down. is filmed a day before my birthday. Happy my parents birthday! came home a while ago and they brought back my birthday gifts. I get to try on one of them. It was earrings from APM. I got to try on a very special styled earrings just to see if it fits on my ear. I loved it very much but I don't get to wear it until tomorrow. So I have a pair of earrings from APM. It's golden leaves and I decided to put it on. For blush, I'm going to use my NARS blush in the shade Outlaw. It's a deep pink color with some golden shimmers in it. My dad brought it for me from Hong Kong and I use it literally in all of my videos because I'm to hit pan on it. The blush have a pretty pinky rose color and on camera you can't see it very well but actually on that day in real life I had really pink cheeks. I felt like that I need to use some fix plus to spray it all my face and melt in all the powders. Normally I do this on the end of my makeup but okay makeup have no rules. It's time to bring out the diamond bomb. Now you guys know how much I love this diamond dusted unique formulated highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Sadly in today's video the highlight didn't show up so well, but bring out your favorite highlighter for this holiday season. 
A red lipstick is must have for the holiday season. I have two iconic legendary reds right here, the Na 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 from Dior in the liquid matte formula and Ruby Woo by MAC. And the new one has just joined the family because I got the Armani Lip Maestro in the shade 400 to my birthday. And I chose the Dior 999 for this look, but now I see it, I kinda feel like it looks a little bit too bright. Maybe a darker red would work better, but I think investing a good red lipstick is definitely worth it. I love red lipsticks. And I love the look very much. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a joyful holiday and Merry Christmas.